variant, which was first found in India back in March, is considered to be 40 to 60% more contagious than the Alpha variant first found in the UK, which is already 50% more contagious than the original strain of COVID-19. It's still unclear whether it's more dangerous and whether it causes more severe illness. But when it comes to the efficacy rate of vaccines, for instance, some studies have showed that the AstraZeneca jab still reduces the chances of being hospitalized by 92%, but only for fully vaccinated people. When it comes to the uh, Pfizer-BioNTech jab, it is efficient at 88% in reducing symptomatic uh, diseases caused by Delta, which almost matches the 93% efficacy rate against the Alpha uh, variant. Now, what this means is that being vaccinated does not reduce the chances of contracting the Delta variant, but it does not lead to an increase in the number of severe cases and the number of hospitalizations. Now, there's another uh, mutation that was identified identified in India. It's called Delta Plus. It's considered to be as of now, but it still needs to be confirmed a little bit more contagious and lethal. It is of concern because there's a mutation called a K417N that was also found in another variant, the Beta variant in South Africa. And we know that this one is indeed a little bit more resistant to vaccines.